Hey guys, this is Autumn, and today I'm going to be showing you some really cool PlayStation 2 games I got. And I kind of ordered them from favorite to least favorite. Let me know if you guys want me to play any of these or anything. Let me just check the angle. Okay, so the first one is a game called Neopets the Darkest Fairy. It's, uh... It's based off of, like, the Middle Ages, with knights and all kinds of stuff. It's one of my favorite games on this system. Here's the, uh, here's the world map if you want to pause and look at it. But yeah, it's pretty amazing. Just let you know, if you get this game and have it, make sure you have lots of speed potions, because there will be a lot of backtracking on this one. Uh, next game. Next game would be Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Now the CD isn't actually correct. It's the, uh... <laughs> yeah, that. Okay, yeah. That's fine. So this game is about Spyro, he's a purple dragon. If you guys don't know who Spyro is, you're doomed. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that. <laughs> they recently made a... Where you going, Belby? Made a new game of, of that. Next game is Spyro A New Beginning. It's, it's the same, the same uh, as that, only you get like four different breath abilities, an evil dragon to face. All kinds of cool stuff. Then we've got Monster Rancher 4. It's pretty good. In this game you can have like five different monsters at a time. Currently I, well I am going through my second generation of monsters. But that's pretty cool. Let me know again if you want me to play it for you guys. And then we have Monster Rancher 3. You don't have one on this one, but it's, it's a pretty cool game. It doesn't have... It's a bit of a strange one of the series, but it's pretty good still. Next we have Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. As you can see on the cover, it's about a Tasmanian Tiger who, whose weapon is a boomerang. It's pretty cool, actually. I really like this one. There's like four of them, I think, but I only have the first ones. Speaking of the first ones, here's Tie 2. As you can see, still got the boomerangs. And there's all kinds of cool stuff. Like, uh, I don't know if this one has a booklet. Nope, no booklet. But you got like a map and quests to do in different places. It's all pretty cool stuff. And then we have this game. It's called Brave. It's about this Indian kid whose village was under attack by a gigantic, like, like, 20-story demon thing with, like, two-mile-long horns on each end. It's, it's pretty crazy. Um, I think this one has a booklet, but it's, it's, no, it doesn't. So you gotta collect the carvings, and he's got, like, all different powers, like, if he... Sees an animal, he can make the exact sa same sound it is. And it's a bunch of different stuff. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> and then we also have the very first Ratchet and Clank. Oh, uh, I, I can't get too far for, for some reason on it. But there was a movie based on this. It's pretty good. I saw it. And now... We're going to get some of the games that I don't really play that much. Well, I love this game, but it's Naruto Ultimate Ninja. Now, um, I might show a little bit of this on my YouTube channel, but not all of it because there's, like, violence and, like, swearing and some nasty stuff, as you can see there. Well, I don't know if you can see it all, but this kid right here does some pretty crazy stuff. If you've seen the TV show, you know what I'm talking about. And then we have Pac-Man World 3. doesn't really have a case for it because my mom bought it on a flea market. 
But it's pretty cool. It's not like the old maze ones where you just go crazy. It's got all kinds of things. Puzzles and everything. It's pretty fun. To like a certain point in my view. I can't really get to it much these days. And then... Here we have Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, the Tournament of... Uh, is that what it is? The Duelist of the Roses. Or something. I know we have Yugi and Kaiba. It, it's kind of like... You know that Yu-Gi-Oh! episode or series, uh, season where, like, you choose a deck boss and you, have, you get to move your cards around and stuff? It's like that. Sort of. And then, I don't know where this one come from, but I've had it for a long time. It's, uh, The Lord of the Rings. It's, it's pretty cool. Uh, the Two Towers. Oh, it's the Two Towers. Um, well, I mean, it kind of goes from, you start off at Rivendell, if that makes any sense. And that, you guys, is all of the PlayStation 2 games. If any of you guys own any of these games, let me know what you think of them. And let me know if you want me to try to play some of them on, on uh, PlayStation 2 and some other stuff. But yeah, I love these games. And about the whole Neopets Darkest Fairy game, um, people say that it's got like a million glitches, and that's why it's not very fun. It was made by, I don't know, some kind of crappy company. I, I'm, I'm not judging. I love the game. It's like my favorite. I can beat it in like five days. Like, I, honestly, I gotta say that uh, this game is the only game that I can truly 100% well, just about. I can do it. I love this game. They say it has a thousand glitches. They're right. But that's what I love about it. See you guys next time. Bye.